A sort of twist on the idea of a conference, so call it an unconference or a bar camp, hence the name Transparency Camp, where the people who attend set the agenda for the weekend and they even create the schedule of events and and, dis and discussions. So instead of people coming in and having plenary to speakers and being shuttled from one session to another, it's really interactive and it's about having audience participation. In fact, there's no such thing as the audience. We're all participating. Guys, so because I'm talking and talking, any questions? A lot of people who each have a very interesting response. Sure. You want to show yours? The wall is a traditional part of any bar camp and that's how you set up the schedule of events. Um, and uh, basically we, we made sure that ahead of time we had the first uh, sessions uh, established. People who when they registered used Google Moderator and they could suggest online and then people voted up and down. Very participatory. Then when we get here at Transparency Camp the day of, people go up and put like index cards and say, I am a computer developer and I want to learn more about you know, what is the data available that I can be creating apps around or I'm new to government and I believe in creating transparency, what would be some best practices or I'm a journalist and I'm starting to teach myself some computer coding skills and I would love to share tips with other journalists who also dabble in or do more than dabbling in computer programming. But one of the things I think that I'm going to try and do uh, at this session is say in real detail with examples of how you can build coalitions and if you can't build coalitions how you yourself can make a difference. And, and you meet people here at this camp, it's been great. There's people who have interests on criminal activism, right? They want to know. There's people, there was a woman in the session I ran who talked about how she was worried about the fact that there are repeat felony offenders of drug dealing that are being released back into her neighborhood and she wanted to know why and she can't get the data from the courts. The Transparency Camp is driven by the people who participate. So we don't know when we start off what the day is going to be like. And um, it's really amazing to see what Transparency Camp has inspired. When we started this in 2009, it was much smaller. And things that came out of that were some brainstorm sessions and, and good conversations that resulted in something called crisis commons. These are people who came together during the Haiti earthquake and during other nat natural disasters to figure out how can we best help deploy technology to help those who are on the ground um, aiding people during a natural disaster. Also, City Camp came out from Transparency Camp. These are bar camps just like Transparency Camp that people organize in their home city, in their hometown, to try to take the whole idea of open government where we think it's sunlight more on the big picture level, but bring it down to the local level. Um, there's This year we have, uh, I forget how many, but uh, about 60 or 70, and I hope I'm not getting the number wrong, I wouldn't want to leave anyone out, but international guests. So these are activists and advocates, they're journalists, they're investigators, they're computer developers, they're, they're election law uh, experts, and they're coming in to share their story of what has been successful or what the challenges have been for them to create government transparency around the world. And the Sunlight Foundation actually has a number of different parts. So I'm on the policy team, so my job is to advocate to the executive and legislative branches around legislation, regulations, and things along those lines to make them more open and transparent. But Sunlight has a number of different parts. We have a labs team, we have almost 20 developers on staff, and we build really great tools. Go to influenceexplorer.com or clearspending.org and you can find out great information about how the government open, operates and functions. Uh, we, you know, there's a really great site that we help build along with the Participatory Politics Foundation called Open Congress where you can see basically Congress in action. We have a reporting team that does two different things. They, of course, break stories, but they also educate reporters on how to use data to tell stories about what the government does. And we also have a communications and organizing team. So we really handle all the different aspects of the, of the data advocacy sort of uh, access uh, uh, project. Everywhere from uh, advocating for better access to public information, to taking that information and refining it so that other people can use it, telling stories with that information, and then to teaching others how to tell stories with it as well. Uh, it really is a, a full circle where we uh, basically try to make information better available to everyone. So ongoing initiatives. Uh, one, of course, is the Data Act. Uh, it just passed the House of Representatives this past week. It's moved to the Senate. It would make federal spending information all available in one place. 
This is a common sense idea. You think it would have happened already, but unfortunately it's far from the truth. The data that's available now is terrible. It's inconsistent. You can't drill down. What we're going to do, hopefully, is put it all in one place at the greatest level of granularity so that you can go and see everything that's going on and make whatever determination that you want to make about whether it's being spent properly or not. We are advocating for better access to legislative information. So we're working with the Library of Congress and with the House and the Senate to basically make bills and resolutions and committee reports and all those things online better so that you can find out again what your government is doing. And we are really advocating across the board on pretty much any issue that you can dream of that has to do with government openness and transparency, we're working on it. That it's growing. It's, a, it's an evolution and it, it is a movement. It's not just in Washington, D.C. It's not just something for techies out in Silicon Valley. It's across the country and it's now around the world and it's really exciting. Mm -hmm.